by governments, by institutions, by private entities, is, it becomes that much more relevant, that, that, that much more contextual. Cyber threats, as was pointed out by several experts, I think this mindless, meaningless war in Russia, uh, by Russia on Ukraine is one thing, but I think the age where physical wars will happen or, uh, you know, will continue to happen is passe. I think the real, war, the, re the real wars will actually happen in the cyber world, where your country's infrastructure will be attacked, where your institution's infrastructure will be attacked, and where I think nations will try and score over each other, institutions will try and score each o over each other in the cyber world. I was, you know, about a few years ago, I met with Ajay Banga, who's now been anointed as a uh, president of the World Bank, but he was then heading the MasterCard, uh, uh, you know, he was the CEO of MasterCard. So he was telling me, on a good day, and this was a few years ago, I'm sure the numbers have increased now, on a good day, MasterCard server gets attacked by hackers at least 50,000 times, on a good day. On a bad day, it can be 10 times or 20 times that. So you can imagine the kind of threat, you can imagine the kind of, uh, uh, you know, insecure world that we live in when it comes to ensuring digital safety. So therefore, as a government in Telangana, we have understood the importance of this subject of cyber security. And we were the first state in the country to have come out with an exclusive cyber security policy. We also take immense pride in saying that Telangana now has more than 230 plus technology companies uh, across a wide spectrum of domains, who all have their cybersecurity teams running from Hyderabad. Telangana government also has associated, we believe in partnerships. We've associated with the Data Security Council of India and have set up a cybersecurity center of excellence in Hyderabad in 2018 to create a safe, secure, and a trusted cyberspace and to catalyze innovation, entrepreneurship, and capability building in cybersecurity and privacy. We have been working with them on national and international collaborations to boost cyber security ecosystem. The cyber, the cyber security, the cyber center of excellence, cyber security center of excellence conducts several programs, including research, hackathons, capability development, and policy in cyber security and, and uh, privacy. I request both Ruths and Peretz to help us connect to the best minds in Israel, as I was asking you a while ago, to ensure that Hyderabad, you know, in fact, uh, Cyberabad, becomes the cyber security capital of India. In fact, that would be our ambition to create more cyber warriors to not only solve our challenges here, also solve the challenges for India, and by extension also solve the world's problems. And our youngsters here are very, very smart. Most of them can, you know, uh, you know, provide solutions at scale for the world. So therefore, I request you to work with Telangana Academy for skills and knowledge task to ensure that we create a program where we can train more and more youngsters. Today, I'm delighted that CyberArk's beautiful new office has been inaugurated. I am thrilled also to see the growth of cybersecurity industry in the state and the establishment of companies like CyberArk. I welcome them. I also would uh, urge them to start looking at providing more Indianized solutions because I think each country has its own set of challenges. While cybersecurity globally is a, is a universal sort of phenomenon, each country, each region will have its own localized set of challenges. So we need to also start understanding that uh, state-of-the-art solutions to protect against advanced cyber threats, prevent data breaches, these, they, also, they also vary from, day, uh, from state to state, country to country, region to region. So maybe start looking at a localized sort of solution. CyberArk's expertise in protecting privileged accounts and data is critical in today's digital landscape and I believe that their solutions will play a significant role in ensuring that the safety and security of businesses across the state of Telangana and across India as well. I'd also like to commend CyberArk for their contribution to the local economy. Their expansion of course will create new jobs and opportunities for the local community and their presence in Hyderabad will help us establish the city as a hub for cyber security expertise. Once again, congratulations, compliments, good luck, Godspeed. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for uh, sharing your thoughts around cyber security. And we'll look forward to partnering with you and the team here and uh, start off this amazing journey together. With that, uh, we would like to. 
السلام علیکم ہیلو ہائے آداب ایوری ون دوستوں میں آپ کا دوست شہباز خان آپ دیکھ رہے ہیں ٹی این ٹی نیوز اور دیکھتے رہیے ٹی این ٹی نیوز تھینک یو